the name of Allah, the most merciful, the especially merciful. Many of us have experienced the sting of hurtful words through gossip, slander, or defamation. In our hyper-connected world, where information spreads quickly, the impact of such words can be significant and far-reaching. Whether true or false, hurtful words can lead to serious consequences and irreparable damage. Understanding how to handle them is crucial for our overall well-being and spirituality. How should you react when your name is tarnished, your honor questioned, and your reputation damaged? This very question was posed to the renowned scholar Sheikh Muhammad Mukhtar al-Shinkiti. His insightful and helpful response offers guidance for anyone facing false accusations, slander, or any form of hurtful words. I was so moved by the depth and usefulness of the Sheikh's answer that I decided to translate it into English for our viewers. I invite you to watch the entire video. If you appreciate this kind of content, please let us know in the comments. We are eager to translate more engaging material into English for you. May Allah ease our challenges and bless our efforts. Now, let's proceed with Sheikh al shinkitis advice to those who have been victims of unfair or hurtful words. A brother asked the Sheikh, In the name of God, His Eminence, Sheikh, what is your advice to someone who has been wronged and falsely accused through gossip and rumors and who suffers the most severe hardships from that? May God bless you. The Sheikh responds, I advise you and myself to be conscious of God, the Almighty, and to know that the believer is under the will of God. If all humanity were willing to benefit the servant or harm him in the slightest way possible, they would not be able to do that except with the will of God. My brother in faith, the joy of this world is to know that you are a servant of God and that if God gives you glory, no one can humiliate you except him and that if God honors you, no one can dishonor you except him. People's hurtful words and other life challenges cannot affect those who truly fear and trust God. I know with certainty that God protects his allies and is the best protector and helper. God protects the oppressed and has promised to help them. God does not break his promises. He will help the oppressed, even if it may take a while in the eyes of people. The oppressed person is helped, and therefore I advise you to feel that God is with you. If someone is falsely accused or spoken ill of, in their personal or religious life, they should place their trust fully in Allah. They shouldn't worry about people's current opinions or feel that their future and life are ruined forever. Remember, the future is determined by Allah, from whom glory and dignity come. As the verse goes, And he whom Allah humiliates, none can give him honor, meaning that those honored by God cannot be dishonored by others. What should you fear when you realize that God is your protector Everything becomes easier, the whole world and all its creation. Do not fear, do not be sad, and do not force things. If someone falsely accuses you, remember that God is with you. My brother in faith, remember that truth is inherently strong, while falsehood is inherently weak. God has given us examples to differentiate between good and bad words. Concerning good words, Allah says, a good word is like a good tree with firm roots and branches reaching into the sky. It bears fruit consistently with the permission of its Lord. On the other hand, malicious words, lies, slander and falsehood are likened to a bad tree, uprooted and unstable, with no firm place on the earth. Understand that false accusations hold no weight in Allah's view. If someone accuses you regarding your faith, thoughts, prayers or worship, simply because you are committed to good, they are wrong. They may claim that your goodness hides calamity or corruption, but they are the oppressors. Why bother with someone who doesn't deserve your attention? As long as you are confident in your righteousness and draw strength from the truth, you should ignore such falsehoods. Overpower falsehood with truth, and it will eventually collapse. This nonsense 
these lies and accusations against you are baseless and rootless. The second point is to understand that falsehood has no roots. Realizing that falsehood is temporary and unsustainable means that anything built on it is also false. If you understand this, you won't be troubled or saddened by it. God will protect you from those who harm you with their baseless hostility and actions. Remember, those who harm you with their words and deeds are bringing about their own downfall, and God will support you in no time. The key is to keep a clear conscience, knowing you are on the side of truth and righteousness. Why worry about what others say or think? Whether they love or hate you, their opinions don't define your worth or your path. God will handle your affairs, so what is there to fear? Trust in God, who is eternal, and praise Him. If you place your trust in Him, He will suffice you and protect you from baseless falsehoods. The third point is to find solace in these trials. Remember, the stature of scholars, the noble, and the prophets is often elevated through the foolish words of others. They spoke ill of the prophet, peace and blessing upon him, calling him a sorcerer, insane, an amputee, and a sinner. Yet he is the master of humanity, blessed by God's prayers and peace. His name will never die. Don't worry about what people say. God will take care of you and raise your value in the face of harm. Scholars often found joy in such accusations, remembering God's words. Do not be like those who accused Moses unjustly. Moses was honored by God, showing that true prestige is found only in God's favor. Moses was criticized by the people for bathing alone, leading to false accusations about his physical form. Even prophets face such baseless criticism. Those who spread falsehood are despicable, and worse are those who follow them. In an incident recorded in Sahih al-Bukhari, Moses was bathing, and his garment and stone ran away. When he chased them down, the people saw him and realized the falsehood of their claims. God is the greatest for his prophets. Trials and tribulations are part of life. As Omar said, patience brings life's pleasures. Being an imam or a teacher means facing accusations and criticism while upholding the sunnah. People may misunderstand and accuse you of bringing a new religion or causing harm. Despite this, take pride in your faith, knowing you are in a paradise surrounded by difficulties. Do not weaken in your resolve. Many great figures have faced opposition but remained honored by God. The truth endures while falsehood fades. Always follow God's commandments and do not be distressed by the schemas of others. If you encounter someone in your neighborhood or city who harms you, approach them and say, My brother, may God guide you. You're saying such things. Argue against their claims. If they persist, don't be saddened by their words. Don't feel sad wishing everyone would follow you. Sometimes following your enemy might lead people astray. God has chosen the better path for you. Don't grieve or feel distressed by their denial. Falsehood always brings distress, especially when it's based on lies. Women are often unjustly accused, affecting their honor. A woman might just be visiting her family, but people start rumors. These accusations burn like fire, or an oppressor might spread lies about her, leading her to experience the pain of injustice. Those who falsely accuse innocent and faithful women will face severe consequences. On Judgment Day, their own bodies will testify against them. God upholds the truth, and they know it. Malicious words are spoken only by malicious people. When you hear someone spreading negativity, remember, it's their own malice speaking. Don't let their plots upset you. In your work or personal life, you might face false accusations, causing distress. Remember, truth endures while falsehood fades. Have faith in God, who is the ultimate protector and supporter. Your belief in Him should remain firm and unshaken, regardless of the challenges you face. Trust in God, the best protector and helper. Seek His help in all matters, for He will never let you be overwhelmed by fear. Be strong, unforced, and fearless.
knowing that God Almighty manages the affairs of his servants. He rules the universe and is the Lord of both heaven and humanity, the one who transforms hearts with his immense power and wisdom. The prophet, peace be upon him, faced accusations among his people. They wrongfully called him names and plotted against him, yet their actions did not diminish his stature. He was revered and deeply missed after his passing. During his life, even his ablutions were a cause of dispute and conflict among people. Despite the criticisms and false accusations, he remained steadfast. God fulfilled his promises to the prophet, affirming his truth and granting victory. The prophet, peace be upon him, stood dignified among his people, loved and respected. There is no one greater than God, no one more generous or faithful. When we are hurt by others, we should turn to God, seek his forgiveness, and ask for his strength and support. In times of trial, pray earnestly to God for strength and perseverance, for he never fails those who call upon him with sincere hearts. This translation is our humble effort. We pray that Allah accepts it and blesses the Sheikh for his teachings. For those fluent in Arabic, we encourage you to watch the original video. You can find the link to the video in the video description text.